Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to the basement as I'm embarking on something kind of sort of new. You saw the thumbnail. This is episode one of X-Men 97 and the title does, was not meant to be clickbaitish at all. I have some thoughts. I had some thoughts going into this and I'm going to share these thoughts. So if you want to skip ahead to the actual reaction, go right ahead. I understand, but I must lay these thoughts down before we begin because, okay, when I was younger, I watched the cartoon and there was a few things that stuck in my head that if you had asked me to describe the basics of the X-Men 90s cartoons, I would have said three things. I would have said, Scott and Jean were on again, off again for various reasons. Gambit and Rogue, Gambit and Rogue were in love forever together. And it was Magneto and Charles always fighting over who was going to head mutant relations, the humans and mutants together. What was the path forward? That was what the series is about. Magneto versus Charles. And then I watched, I binge watched the series in preparation for 97. And, and that's not what happened at all. No. <laughs> Talk about Mandela effects. The Scott and Jean thing. Yes, that was, that was there. Rogue and Gambit, He'd shoot a shot. Sure, he'd ask her out. Let's be together. She rebuffed him, rebuffed, rebuffed so many times. And to, you know, he'd say, okay, fine. And he'd go out on the, by himself on the town. He took no for an answer most of the time, but they were not together hardly at all. And then we got the plots and the storylines. Okay. Asterisk, asterisk, caveat, caveat. Yes, I'm aware before I launch into this that this was a series made for children. It was a child's cartoon. However, however, okay, so Magneto was barely in it. There wasn't very much, like he maybe showed up at season three teeny bit in season four shows up at the very, very end. But most of the, the bad guys was what the friends for humanity and Krieg, whatever his name was, the bad guys all started to be drawn the same way. <laughs> but that's who the real fight was with was humans, not Magneto. And the number of times people got the drop on the X-Men, they should have been dead a thousand times over. Their biggest obstacles in their mission of being successful was themselves. One or multiples would go, I know what I'm doing. I need to do this on my own. Rarely, rarely was teamwork utilized. I also found it hysterical that a lot of times the strategy to get the bad guys to stop was just to yell at them, listen, listen to me. Kevin, listen. You have to hear what I'm saying, do listen. And yes, going back to, yeah, okay, so this was aimed at children. I'm gonna guess the target audience was young boys. For young boys, they were spilling them a soap opera. Like, oh my gosh, the number of girlfriends that just came up, kept, that Wolverine had, <laughs> the Gene Scott thing, the Gambit Rogue thing. Charles, Charles had a sadder love life than Peter Parker. And speaking of which, Moira, two time in bitch. What? What? And then we had the Mori Povich, you're the father. Magneto, you're the father. Scott, here's your father. Just, <laughs> what? But, but they did give us one hell of a series cliffhanger. Like Charles, his body just dies and uh, and da -da. <laughs> that's where they left it. Speaking of last season, why did the animation style change so much? It wasn't just tweaks or cleanups. Hank's face completely, totally changed. Why? Why? For those 10 episodes, why? So when I say that I'm dreading watching X-Men 97, it's because of that repetitious storytelling that we had. I'm hoping that in 30 years, 
the story creators now know that that their audience has grown they're in their 40s now we're used to more sophisticated type of storytelling that we're not going to get we're going to get good storytelling and not this repetitious things over and over again but just in case we are i have decided to bring back if you watched other reactions i have done before i think it's time y'all it is time for the x-men 97 drinking game right so here are the rules if you wish to partake you don't have to you can watch me partake if you want to rules are one get the freaking cap off the bottle okay <laughs> if any of the following three happens we're gonna take a drink item one anytime anybody gets the drop on the x-men we're drinking item two Ooh. anytime somebody's strategy to get the bad guy to stop doing what they're doing is just to yell listen listen to me Sippy sippy. And finally, <laughs> anytime we have a relationship revealed or a secret baby, chug chug, glug glug. Okay, I'm hoping I don't need to taste a drop. I'm hoping so. But just in case, we're gonna make this more interesting. And I guess I should awaken my palate since um, I know I can hear some people going, you're gonna shoot Glenn Livet. I'll awaken my palate so it's not totally wasted. Okay, I'm ready to go. I hope you're ready to go. Thank you so much for sharing this adventure with me. If you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe. Also remember, full episode watch along will be available on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Let's get to it. Ooh, you know that title entrance. Okay, I also noticed that season five had a different intro. So they brought the OG intro back, mostly. Oh, and they added Morph. And they added Bishop. Interesting. <laughs> the number of times Bishop had to go back in time to save their asses. At some point, he would wonder, go back further in time. The 90s, just stop it before they hit the 90s. Take a look back on another life cut short. Professor Charles Xavier. Oh, he was looking very McAvoy there. But is mankind ready to share a future with those whose science claims were born to replace us? Experts debate this and more after the break. Please don't hurt me. I'm Roberto da Costa, heir to the da Costa fortune. Name a price. Money's not an issue. What's this freak's trick? No clue. Kid didn't even try to use his powers. Collared him just in case. So why did they target him? I didn't ask for this, okay? I was born this way. Ain't that the rub? And you were born an asshole. Oh, Storm. Storm. I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Surrender the boy or face my fury. And my new haircut. Stick didn't go over so well, did it? Everyone got a haircut. So why is Bishop there now? Good guy or bad guy? Definitely the good guy. Hang tight. Oh, that's a trick. remember him using his his laser beam to push him and make him slide <laughs> flipping huge hand Get down. yeah okay what are your powers take his visor before he starts up again no don't i surrender take his visor he's gonna just look at you and <laughs> <laughs> Storm and Bishop could have been hurt. We needed you out there. You stopped the bad guys. He's making beignets. These beignets needed me more than you. What did does this look, Remy? 
Rogue, the professor entrusted us with his dream of mutant human coexistence. We have to stay vigilant. All they're having for dinner are beignets that haven't been powdered sugar yet. If you don't simmer down, you're gonna die of a stroke. Rogue is right, Cyclops. Morf, that is not in good taste. Stop being a creep, Morph. <laughs> has it been how long has it been babies it's not a secret baby but we got a baby hank how fares the boy besides a cavity in a layman's existential fear of metaphysics mr da costa here is in perfect health how much how much for the save i was gonna pay those creeps to free me so you take checks we're more interested in the weapons those creeps had did your attackers say anything about where they acquired it? And why did they kidnap you? Be what, what powers did he show that made him think he was a mutant? Just give us the data to figure this out. At least say there's something to do around here besides listen to Mozart. Hear me, humanity's days are over. This is the simulator. So, what can you do? Fly? Teleport? Shoot? The like is not even real. You would turn your back on your own? Can I take him out? Better show me those powers, tough guy. Ooh. Show Ooh. the lady some respect. Oh, so scary, Jubilee. Can we stop now? Computer and program. <gasps> scary enough for you, bub? <laughs> what about Bolivar Trask? Trask's been missing ever since his inventors tried to swap out President Kelly's brain with a Sentinel computer. Charles Xavier was a dear friend of mine. A little trust, Scott. Professor loved to say, trust happens when actions meet words. Cyclops out. Cyclops out. Oh, Jean, you look so cute! <laughs> Friends of humanity are running around with Sentinel blasters. You're too hard on yourself. November 11, that's our mistress day. Yeah? Uh, the professor would shout, your childish hijinks have cost you five demerits, young man. Where are the rest of the students in the school? There never seem to be students at all. With the baby coming, maybe it's time to think of a life beyond the X-Men. Leave the team? Wow. The X-Men need us here. The team will be fine. Our son will need us more. Has she been telepathically talking to their child? Ooh. Oh, no, no, no! The past is gone! It has been broken forever! Logan, take that nose of yours and go find the kid. Actually, all of you could stand to act a little more like X-Men. Hey now, we didn't do a dang thing! Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Wow! Logan, find Roberto. Please. Please, Logan, for me. But want to know the worst part about the professor being gone? You. <laughs> professor would have told you to go after him anyway, so just go. Roberto's here? This is me Saturday. Oh, here's, oh, I should have put this on my drinking list the amount of times that Rogue laments. My power sap and touch is leaving with a nasty hangover. Any worthwhile man would gladly suffer your hand in advance. Let's just find this trust fund baby and get out of here, Morph. So the kids skulking in the corner there. And I'm having the most beautiful baby in the world with the most boring man in the world. And oh, hello, you on the sidelines watching our exhausting perfection every day. School's no place for a baby. They're leaving the team, Morph. Jean's leaving. <gasps> well, look who it is. <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> Okay, so what does this kid have that they want? 
Let's go. You're not safe here. One dance. That'll come. Promise. That's it. Jubilee just Fly the signal. Mutant here, mutant here. Temple Waves ran when they saw us coming. Dropped one of their little toys too. Oh, we didn't save the fight? Interesting. Yeah. Um, could, could you have used that device to like figure out more stuff about him? Those Sentinel upgrades really threw you. So we might wear tolerance on our sleeves, but we know the naked truth. Tolerance is extinction. And you get an A for effort, Mr. Summers. But we both know you're no Charles Xavier. You're right. I'm not Charles Xavier. He'd, he'd do everything in his power to save you. From what? You? No. But have you met my wife? Hatred weakens your mind, Mr. Wow! Cerebro amplifies my psychic powers. Oh, oh. We need backups. I know. Why well, didn't they just do that from the start? But I know it's the whole um, consent thing. However, ooh, that's terrible. What? I'm here, Scott. I'm fine. We're opening something terrible to the portal of hell. Well, Gene's psychic scan placed Trask in the Sahara Desert. We fly into the coordinates, detain Trask, and shut down Master Mold for good. I say we skip detaining and mail Trask back to the UN in little pieces. I love how uh, Wolverine always threatens to <laughs> somebody up, but he doesn't. <laughs> ever in the cartoon. I know, they're cartoons, but. What would we do if we ever lost you? Wow, who took him out? That's oh, a sentinel. Okay, those who can't fly, hang on to those who can. So Marv, Marv can assume the powers of those he morphs into? Since or is it just physical powers? Solid work, team. See you on the ground. H how? Who's gonna catch you, Cyclops? Does he have a backpack in his ass we don't know about? Oh, he's gonna banshee it. Gotcha. To me, my X-Men. To me, my X-Men! <laughs> Gyrick warned me you were coming. Trask, we don't want to fight. Well, you better be prepared to. Will this count as them get somebody getting the drop on them? Maybe half of one. Quarter of a one. Change of heart. <laughs> waka waka waka. Oops. Oops. Give him the forecast. Ancient sand. Heed my command and reclaim these relics of hatred. She's so dramatic. Huh? Is now shouldn't such someone be going after Trask? You underestimate us. You is that the Supreme Sentinel? I can't remember what his name was. What is this maneuver? I 
missed who this blonde woman was. You've no idea how it feels to be left behind by the future. Ooh, that was an interesting animated I move right there. I'm sure Cyclops still won't let me fly the jet, but this isn't some weird school. It's a family. Where's his family? Your parents don't know, do they? Some sort of solar energy. Still figuring it out. Be an X-Men Jubilee? I don't even want to be myself. Here. What's your job? Hot and rich? Don't forget single. <laughs> Why is Bishop still there? Gene and I have an announcement. You're bailing on us to go raise your little one someplace nice and normal. If they're gone, who the heck is going to lead the team? I don't think it's an intruder. Charles Xavier was the finest man I knew. Despite our differences, he never ceased to have faith in our friendship, nor forgive my many failings. Perhaps that is why the old fool has done That this. is a tomb! Tome! It's thick. The last will and testament of Charles Francis Xavier. Everything he built, everything he fought for, now belongs to me. Prove it. My X-Men. How? How do we know that that big book is real? Like, real, real. You know what I mean? Debating whether to watch one and two back to back since that's they released it, but I'm here and I still have some whiskey poured. Let's do this thing. Okay. Workers have managed to unload all passengers save one in what has become a Coney Island nightmare. Oh, that is a nightmare. That is such a nightmare. Especially when we ride the one that's like at California Adventures where it slides and you swear it's just gonna swing right off the end. there why are you standing there but that doesn't screw it into place art is that who i think it is saving humans oh magneto did the professor not trust me maybe we're seeing this wrong maybe he did this for us oh with some demanding this unlikely savior answer for his past crimes. This is our home, you pig. <gasps> oh, what's her name? The Morlocks. Don't hurt Leech. The depths you humans go. Wow. Electricity and magnetism are intimately acquainted. But I am the master of magnetism. Dirty mutants! You get what's coming on your run! So the Morlocks didn't have any mutant powers? We, we just had a green kid that was and a green I kid? I promise you, child, you shall never be afraid again. Okay. Seen a lot of futures, but Magneto leading the X-Men. That's a new one. Maybe we should take a page from the professor's playbook and give Eric a second shot. I have arranged for the Morlocks to travel to the mutant nation of Genosha. Saddens me that none of you, nor Xavier himself, thought to use his considerable finances to do the same. One of many mutant matters on which we can and will improve. They kind of gave uh, Magneto a flatter David Bowie and the tragic fact that I did not labyrinth look sapiens to the waste bin of history is proof of my desire to honor Charles Xavier's dream of mutant human coexistence. Okay, prove it. Let Jean scan your mind. See your real plans. Using my powers to assess honesty is another matter. Even if I sensed Magneto's intentions were sincere, that's today, this minute. 
Then we check every minute of every day. <laughs> I was under the welcome impression that you and Mrs. Summers were leaving us. Wow, look at those gloves. What is with this redesign? After all our tete-a-tetes, you have finally realized what I did ages ago. Even Charles Xavier can make a mistake. <laughs> wow! Haven't worn this old thing since that battle in the blue area of the moon. I was possessed by a malevolent cosmic entity intent on consuming all of existence. That wasn't that long ago in this timeline, Jean. There are times when I think about the baby. If he's a mutant, how do I tell him he's different? That the world will remind him of it every day. Oh, jeez. And you're asking Storm? Storm. <sighs> Ever since I was in Gyrick's mind, I can't shake this feeling that something terrible is coming. Boy, do I sound like a fool. No, Jean. You sound like a mother. I know Storm had a son too, right? Is he still in Africa? When we parted ways, I told myself I needed this to protect myself from his psychic powers. But you were worried if you still felt how much he loved you, you wouldn't be able to go through with your crusade. And yet, here you are. Mm-hmm. My past is too littered with error. Mine was too, remember? But the X-Men still took me in. I feared you would do your best to avoid being alone with me, Rogue. Who's this? Without an announcement? Oh, they're here to arrest Eric. Who called him? Think twice. Our rifles are resistant to your electromagnetic powers. <laughs> ooh! Ooh! I hereby place you under arrest for crimes against humanity. You will stand trial at the UN headquarters. Should I successfully vindicate myself in what I will generously assume is a fair trial, <laughs> will I earn your trust? What is he up to? He must have a master plan. Must! I yield. Ooh, they put a dampener. They put a dampener. Have you seen Scott? Oh, he's there with the others making sure Magneto doesn't pull one of his stunts. Oh. He didn't tell me. Oh, what? A lot of that going around lately. What? That's the other thing about the original series is I just hated how much people, humans hated. Need pay. Folks out there want the UN's head just as much as his. Yeah, they want, they just hated humans just cause now did some of them deserve some suspicion? Yes, but not all of them. This outfit, wow! <laughs> and it looks velvet to me, and that's what's making me like, wow, purple velvet. Love differently. Be of different sex or skin, and be punished. Oppressed, become oppressors. Xavier knew this, and dreamed we could change, find harmony. Your words, while kind, do nothing to heal those hurt by your crime. And your soundbite indignation will not heal mutant wounds. You build robots to hunt us, callers to chain our power. If it's broken through the barrier, get on the back. Deploy smoke! Protest is a breach in the perimeter. What in the blazes did we do? You gave a monster a trial. Oh, to play by the rules and still they come for you. Mm-hmm. Our goal is de-escalation. That's always de-escalation that never goes well. Crowds lost their blasted mind. <gasps> Logan! <gasps> no! He's here! Boom. Apocalypse! The baby! <laughs> oh, crap. And Logan will be here for the birth of Scott's child before Scott? What? <laughs> wow. You got 
got a name? Executioner. Here to make sure gene freaks like Magneto pay for their crimes. You <laughs> Oh, jeez, Remy! Round two, <gasps> absorb this. What? They gotta call on Bishop. <laughs> oh, no! Normal people have it hard, too. Harder! We just have the dignity not to whine about it! This guy needs to go. I hate your whining just as much as I hate you. <gasps> Why is Lady Destruct? Oh, it's more fun. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Scott, it's Rogue. Gene. Rogue, fly Cyclops to Gene immediately. Magneto and I will protect the judges. Be careful, Storm. He is, he's collared. Circumstances do not offer us a choice. He's collared. And call her Magneto, you! Well, now, who does she think she Do not think. Be silent. Heed my commands and you shall survive. <laughs> what do you mean, don't do mutant births? You what? people can lose control of your powers. And if she needs a C-section... I'll show you a C-section, boss. <gasps> He's still got it there. Can you use your powers to siphon his medical expertise? Ooh. Excuse me? <laughs> if I slip and touch your baby, my powers broke. Oh, that's true. Well, she can wear gloves when she's delivering the baby. <gasps> Prep an IV and get this lady to a room. I'm sure other mutants have given birth. We know. What's her name? Mystique gave birth twice. Once was in a bed in a castle somewhere. What is he building? Be <gasps> animals and be caged. Let us see how their mob manners fare against the shock of misconduct. Shock of misconduct. Did she get shot with? Uh, uh. Ooh, she got shot. <laughs> and who are you, dude? Where are you going, Storm? The breeze is gone. I cannot feel it, nor the moisture. What has he done to me? This was not what we wanted. Lies. This is your dream. What must we do to be good enough? Is this the high road's destination? If so, I say as I have too many times before. Never again. Oh! What's that guy? You're gonna be made an example of, dudes. Is he gonna fly you into the sun? Bigot. Ingrate. Sycophant. There was a time I would smite you all for what was done to Storm. But today, I have saved you from your own. For an old friend has challenged me to remember this view of Earth. Charles Xavier entrusted me with his dream, and it does not ask you to love or embrace my kind as your own, but merely to accept that this is a shared world with a common future, and that my kind have the right to live in it. Please. Drop him! Do not make me let you down. Well, doesn't he need a name? I was thinking Nathan. Why Nathan? That's my boy. Nathan Charles Summers. Mm. The United Nations stunned the world this week when it issued a pardon for Magneto. 
we will begin talks to admit the mutant nation of Genosha into the United Nations. Oh, they have brandy coffee mugs. <laughs> I know they have got brands all over the place, but still. Someone had to make those. Does this mean you trust me to carry on Xavier's dream? The professor trusted you, and I trust him. I guess that'll have to be enough. Tragedy lures with fortune first. This was a good week for our people. Was it, was it? not without cost. Where's Storm? The executioner's laser rifle fired a concentrated dose of that same radiation. It affects genetics on a cellular level. Suppressing a mutant test. How long? Additional tests will be needed before Hank, please. How long? Forever? The effects appear permanent. We need to contact me and... Is she going to go back home home? <gasps> she can't control the elements! She even left the earrings behind! So I ask that you help the others understand why I could not stay to say it this day. It is human nature to crave connection as it is also mutant nature to be heard. To feel another soul finally seeing yours. Are we gonna get that relationship? Oh! Only to then sometimes watch it break in a blink that changes your life forever. We are no longer connected, Jean. For another person's dream. Muff. Ororo. I don't buy it. Not one minute. Storm will spend a day schlepping it with the basic folk and come right home, happy as a... Who is this now? They're all there. Mostly. <gasps> Jean? I need the X-Men. What? Uh, what? Jean? <gasps> what? Are we doing more time travel? What? Okay, I'm glad I'm watching this. And I'm glad I'm watching this with all y'alls. Okay, S story plots, a little bit more sophisticated. I appreciate that, thank you. What a hell of a cliffhanger though. I do have some general questions. Maybe we'll get the answers, maybe we won't. Such as why is Bishop there? He went back to 2039, 2050, whatever. Oh my gosh, 2039 is not that far away. Holy shit. But, so why is he here now with these X-Men permanently? Question mark, question mark. So does Magneto make his whatever vibrate? Whatever. So that it kind of forms a barrier so that Storm can touch him? And she doesn't absorb his powers, was that it? Oh, she does, she, oh. My grandfather would say she needs to shit or get off the pot when it comes with her and Gambit. Just pick one and go with it because this wishy-washy doesn't do anything any good. And why did they make Morph more alienish, like instead of just having to be his old brunette self? Why was that choice made? I just wonder in general. What have we to come? Magneto's gonna take over the X-Men, but only the fact that he is so trying to do Charles's last wish. He's diving all in, full bore. I am surprised by that. And at some point, Charles comes back? Question mark, question mark. He's off in Char, mentally, spiritually, metaphysically. What would bring him back? And now we've got Jean from the 
past, present, future, she's in a hospital gown. Couldn't see if she was pregnant still or not. And are we going to see Roberto? I was going to say Roberto Clement. No, Da Costa. Da Costa? Is he going to come back? Do we need him? I don't know. Question mark, question mark. But as I said, I'm intrigued and I'm excited to see what happens next. And I hope you all are as well. So I had to do one shot over an hour. Not so bad. And they were slight. They were like, that's why they took little half quarter shots because it wasn't full blown. Pet, like those issues I had previously, but they were there and I toast and tribute. <laughs> we'll see what happens next week. So do not be strangers. If you haven't already hit subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And until next time, please, as always, take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. This is your reminder to stand up. If you haven't already, go eat something and then come back and see the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.